Okay, this is part three of this is part three of the general settings tab on your iPad. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, so bear with me as we go through this. Um, we're up to talking about the passcode lock section here, um, which is pretty significant and something that we ask all students and everybody with an iPad to set. Um, and it's actually one of the key features to make sure that somebody else doesn't use the data on your iPad at any point in time. So passcode lock, I'm going to enter in my passcode lock um, and I'm going to chuck it in. Really important, I'm going to do this again because it's a great learning tool while we've got it. If you're projecting or showing somebody on your iPad how to do something um, and you've got to type in a password, you'll notice that the iPad itself actually shows the letter up for a the last letter up for three seconds so you can check that you've typed in the right thing. Sounds great when you're not showing somebody, um, it's a great function when you're not showing somebody what um, to do on an iPad. So as I type this in, if you actually read it with me as I do it, you'll be able to see what my password is. So as a teacher, do not project while you're typing in your passwords because it will show them and students only need to see it for a split second to get some understanding of what your passcode would be. So if we have a look in here, um, you've got turn passcode off. So if I wanted to turn my passcode off, I could turn it off itself. Um, and that way, if somebody clicked the bottom button on my iPad while it was um, while it was inactive, it would actually show up what the um, it would go straight into there. Importantly, they'd be able to get access to my apps and all of my emails and that without any issues. There would be no lock or no check pr um, procedure on this to make sure that they knew or were allowed to. I can change my passcode, so I'm going to enter in a passcode here. Um, I'm going to call it Dragons. Okay, and I'm going to go next, and it'll go. Oh, I need to put in my old one first. Um, and then I can enter in my new one and it should ask me twice um, and then that would have changed the passcode lock. Really important, um, you've got um, options here to have your passcode required every five minutes or whatever else um, but the one that's really important is you can actually set a simple passcode um, and what simple passcode is is just four numbers so like a pin number for a, a bank um, card it's recommended that you don't have simple passcodes. Um, it's better to have a complex one. Simple passcodes don't let you allow to use, um, don't allow you to use um, uh, letters and special characters. They only allow you to use four numbers. So, four numbers when you're typing it in and you're around people, it, it actually becomes something that's easily recognisable. Um, you can set and see they've got my notifications on. So in other words, that will shouldn't come up. Um, at the top there, but it's a good example. If you have a look then at um, Picture Frame and Siri, um, they're things that can happen on your iPad even though that it is locked. Um, so you might want to play your pictures or that sort of stuff as a, as a um, stand. Erase data. Um, interestingly, you can actually set it up so that erase all data on the iPad after 10 failed passcode attempts. If you've got a business that's critical, like a lawyer, uh, or critical information on your iPad, and you know that you're not going to forget it 10 times, so in other words, enter it 10 times, um, then it would be good to put this on as um, a fail safe protection measure. But if you are not sure, then I would hung, you know, don't put it on. Um, it's one of those things. Last but not least, if a student picks up an iPad and types the password in you know, several times incorrectly, the password will actually put it as a lockout for one minute. It's like a protection measure to stop somebody from trying to keep going in. If after that one minute they try again and do it again, it'll lock them out for 15 minutes. If they continue to do that, it'll lock them out for an hour. Um, so, And there's no way around reset. If you turn the iPad on and turn the iPad off, it will still be locked out for that amount of time. So. If you don't know what your passcode is, um, then we need to go through a whole, whole different process. But try not to let others touch your iPad and try not to guess your um, passcode locks because it will lock you out and there's nothing that we can do to stop that apart from reformatting the whole iPad.